Well, here we are, sports fans, up on the south side of North Ogden Divide. And here we have Debbie and Dan and Susan taking off a couple of layers because actually it's a little warm. It is a beautiful day today if you take a look out there. And the snow on the South Skyline Trail heading up to the ridge is pristine. We are breaking track. Nobody has uh, been up here and ruined this beautiful fresh powder snow. Take a look at what we got here. It's absolutely gorgeous. We're in the trees right now down low in the oak brush and so it's pretty nice and warm. We expect as soon as we get up on the ridge which is about that level up there. You can kind of look up above where Dan's head is. That'll be the same level that we're up but on the other side of the divide. Talk to you up there. This is the technique, folks, done by an expert, Dan Miner. Keep going, Dan, you're breaking track for us up the mountain. Okay. We're back here kicking back as Dan breaks track. And here's everybody else, all the smiling faces in our group. And we're having a swell time going up this, well, it's about 50 degrees right here. So. We're having some kind of fun. Okay, folks, look up here. Wave to the camera. Susan, you're behind there somewhere. There she is. We are just now coming up on the ridge up here uh, on the Lewis Peak main ridge over there where I'm pointing at right now is the ridge for Ben Lomond. Of course, you can't see Ben Lomond for all that cloud over there. It's always snowing on Ben Lomond. Take a look here. We're going up. Uh, this is actually a pretty gradual part of the climb right now. We've been in some pretty steep stuff and now we're on, a, on the shoulder of the ridge and just having a wonderful time. Take a look as I swing very quickly, quickly, quickly over this way and check out the way this snow is so windblown up in here. It makes for easy climbing actually. And right there, there's a crack in the cornice where Dan was just sitting there. Dan, tell us about the cornice over there. Yeah, it's uh, it's only a 20 foot drop, and then you just roll for another couple hundred yards. Yeah, pretty much. You would have been okay. You know, we just had to wait a couple hours for you to get back. And uh, Dan was a little nervous, and of course, Susan, you know, she was kind of freaking out. Oh my god, there he goes. 